The rodeo returns to Fort Madison, why the event is about so much more than entertainment for the town and the tri-states. Good evening, I'm Mackenzie Henderson. And I'm Dylan Austin. Thanks for staying up late with us. Hope you enjoyed the game. New at 10, thousands of people flocked to the tri-state rodeo in Fort Madison, Iowa again tonight. The 73rd annual event, which started Saturday, has been popular, especially after it was canceled last year due to COVID-19. Around 8,000 people show up to the rodeo each night every year. The advertising chairman says that he is glad the rodeo is back this year as it draws people from all over the country right here to the tri-states. Coming back now and sort of reinventing it, and I say that because we were off last year. So I think when we look at that and what we do to the community, you know, it's a tri-state rodeo, so that's three states, but we have them here from Colorado, Florida, Arizona. It becomes a family reunion. And along with the traditional events like bull riding, there was a Nelly concert tonight as well. Then this weekend, there will be a golf tournament, a 5K run, a Miss and Miss Teen Rodeo Iowa coronation as well. The last day for the rodeo is on Sunday. And with the increased traffic from the rodeo, many Fort Madison businesses are booming with customers. New at 10, some businesses have seen customers from as far away as the East Coast. WGEM's Rebecca Duffy has that part of the story. Phyllis Gorl says she looks forward to the Tri-State Rodeo every year as it's the busiest week for her business, Stage 2 Consignment Shop. We have all these people that just come once a year during the Tri-State Rodeo and they always look forward to coming and finding a bargain. The Tri-State Rodeo draws in around 8,000 people each night and Gorl says her customers have come from as far away as Maine. Oh yeah, they do. They come from all over to come to the rodeo. It's nice. It's nice to see a mixture of people from all over. Some local businesses take advantage of the fact that more people are in the Fort Madison area when the rodeo comes around. Owner of Parthenon Pizzeria Joe Thurman says his restaurant even delivers to people who are at the rodeo. Um, but we deliver up to Rodeo Park too, so that as far as people coming into town or whatever, that doesn't really affect us so much. So we, we take care of the people that are camping. Thurman says the influx of people in town has led to more customers eating inside his restaurant. A lot more dine-in traffic, and I think that's kind of to do with there's not a lot of restaurants with dine-in availability right now, too. Goral thinks the rodeo is beneficial for bringing more people to the Fort Madison area. It's good for the whole community. Gets people in town, and, you know, they see what we're all about downtown here. Rebecca Duffy, WGEM News, Fort Madison. All right, Rebecca, thank you. And Goral says that she is uh, even expanding her business hours during the Tri-State Rodeo Parade this Saturday.